Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. So I was pre-shuffling and I was tapping into your energy and I wanted to leave this because I found it fascinating when I asked Spirit, show me Leo. <laughs> and I got Vulture Spirit, jump for you guys. Okay, nothing is wasted. 63 breaks down to a nine, okay? And then the following energy that jumped out, which is why I left it as I was pre-shuffling, right? Um, I got Lion Spirit. Isn't that incredible? I said, show me Leo, and then Lion Spirit jumped out for you guys. So beautiful energy, right? 37 breaks down to a 10. So we have a synchronicity here. We have 9 and 10. So you guys are in the process of closing out some cycles here. Um, you probably went through um, an ending, right? Or a spiritual awakening. Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted. Um, that's absolutely correct. Um, everything that you went through, it wasn't for nothing, right? Um, the vulture comes in and he, and, um, and it's a very good purpose of cleaning up, um, kind of like, I want to read this from the book for you, but like cleaning up, not leaving anything behind pretty much. Um, everything that you went through to get to where you are, right? get to where you are isn't this a beautiful card wow <laughs> so top down with spirit right now um and you guys are in the in between right now as well so um what spirit is saying is just to embrace this time to embrace the in between i want to read um vulture spirit Nine ten. wow you guys are in the process of closing some major things out here nothing is wasted okay I'm going to read this to you guys. What seems hideous has its own beauty. And the recycling and repurposing the vulture does is, is as important as any other activity in nature that supports the cycle of life. Vulture spirit's message is that nothing is to be wasted. For nature sees value in everything that exists. What seems rotten and ugly has the potential to be transmuted into something beneficial. And you are reminded that any suffering you have experienced has not gone away. It's exactly what I said. Everything that you went through, it wasn't for nothing, okay? You gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of strength. Lion spirit here, right? A, a lot of strength. Um, anyways, back to this. Wisdom and understanding that arose from the experience are talesmen's that will serve you on your journey wherever you go. What is decaying is only changing form and will fertilize seeds you wish to plant, turning that which has passed away into the substance that will support new growth. All that you might wish to deny or discard has value and can be repurposed and reintegrated into the new you that you are becoming and the new life that you are dreaming into being. You're stepping into your own element here. You went through a death. If you went through a death and a rebirth, right? All of that aspect of you, the old you that no longer serves is, is going away so the new you could be reborn. No pain was in vain and no experience was wasted for you have the power to use it to co-create something far better, far, blah, far better. This is a miracle in your partnership with spirit, okay? And then after that, we got lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Okay, this is such a beautiful energy. So uh, let's see here. 37 breaks down to a 10. Be generous of spirit. I want to read this one to you guys as well. I wasn't going to go in this direction. And all of a sudden, spirit just guided me to this deck. Be generous of spirit. A healthy ego means you ease God's order instead of edging God out. Lion spirit appearance is a reminder that you have been given the gift of pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express your divine, authentic self in a unique way. You are both the king and the queen. Secure in your prosperity and wisdom and generous of spirit as you help others. Ooh, we're stepping into our mission here. 
Take pride in your ability to serve from the heart. Contentment with what you have. I'm sorry. Contentment with what you have right now allows you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in ways that educate, heal, inspire, and delight. Be proud yet humble. Practice gratitude and you will find that the accolades that come to you are no match for the joy of knowing what you have been able to do for others through expressing the bounty of generosity within you. Lion spirit knows there is a great savanna before you and many who will benefit from a healthy expression of, a unique, of your unique set of gifts if you choose to work in partnership with spirit. All your relationships flourish as you express your worth and generosity of spirit with humility and kindness. What a blessing you can be to all. So yeah, so it seems as though you guys are in the in-between right now as you, the old you, the ego um, dies away and the new you, right? You're, you're birthing into your true authentic self, into your true self, stepping into mission, stepping into your power, right? To serve. And um, putting the pride and the ego aside and using it in a healthy way and not in an unhealthy way, meaning in a humble way, right? To help uh, without, without any expectations, without any agendas, right? And without expecting anything in return, right? Beautiful. All right, let's get to, um, I'm going to put this right here. I want to also use the psychic tarot here. Spirit, what else can you tell Leo, what other messages do you have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's call in our support team. Calling in my archangels, my guardian angels, spirits of love and light, universe source, Father God, Divine Mother, Holy Spirit. Please assist me in being a clear channel of guidance, clarity, understanding, healing, and insight for the best and highest good for the sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Remember, you guys, take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is your story, you will know. You'll feel it everywhere. If not, then the message is for someone else, okay? Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. It really helps for my channel to grow and the message is to reach others that need it. Oh my goodness, I'm not used to shuffling like this. I'm trying something new, you guys. Be gentle with me. Be patient with me. <laughs> cross logic that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you also please follow me on ig i also talk about the readings and also share messages from spirit at infinite underscore love 11 11 thank you guys for all your love and support if you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me the information to that is in the description box below or you can dm me and speak to me one-on-one -on, -one on instagram if I don't connect with your energy this time, check back with me other, another time. Also, you guys, don't forget to check your other placements, okay? All right, you guys. Leo spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This deck is a little distorted a little bit because I accidentally got it wet and then I had to dry and try to fix it but here we are spirit message for Leo what else does Leo need to know what's going on in Leo's world message for Leo spirit message for Leo okay I'm not gonna read these in reverse Okay, Leo. Okay. I see here that um, you guys have gone through, I guess that's what this whole ending thing that we've been talking about and you guys kind of in between worlds, right? In between the light and the dark, in between trying to decide what direction to go. Um, kind of like in that two of wands energy, right? Of um, strategizing and planning. Um, seeing the way forward, you guys went through an ending, you guys went through a loss, okay, but this loss came about to, to um, open up your um, connection to spirit, to God, to source, right, with the crown chakra here, I see here, 
heartache and loss, right? You guys went through a painful ending and you guys are still working on healing, right? Um, from this ending and spirit is saying, remember vulture spirit, all is not lost. Everything happened for a reason, right? To awaken you to your true authentic self here, to awaken you to your purpose and to your mission. Spirit is asking you to connect, right? Clear your crown chakra. If you're not doing this already, messages are being downloaded to you. You are being guided and you are being directed towards where you're supposed to go, right? Towards your 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 life your sacred mission your sacred life path here okay um someone that could be you or someone in your energy is feeling an emotional loss right now um this is considered the five of cups some regret some guilt um just really really thinking about the past having um some feelings of shame some depression some grief um, heartache, right? We got two cards of heartache. See this guy's holding his heart. It's this guy's holding his heart. And, and then we have the heartache and loss, which is the three of swords, okay? Um, the Spirit is saying, nothing is wasted, right? It's all how we see it, our perception towards um, what, what happened, right? How things happen, how things happen for a reason, for a divine reason. Um, if there was, what I like to, to what I'm getting is from spirit is, um, sorry, my hand is itching. What I'm getting from spirit is, if there was a rejection here, rejection is God's protection, right? Um, everything that's removed from your life, it's removed from your life because it's not meant to be there. Um, it's to teach you. It's to teach you a lesson, is to help you. All the trials and tribu tribulations come into your life, not to punish you, right? Um, but to help you to grow, to help you to become wiser. So these things doesn't happen again, right? We all go through lessons in life for us to reach. How, how, it's how we learn, it's how we see it, for us to reach our highest potential here, okay? And um, awaken, crown chakra to awaken to our true selves, right? Lion spirit, awaken to your true self, releasing the ego here. This is, when we're dealing with heartache and loss, a lot of times our ego tends to flare up for protection, right? Um, five is about changes. You got two fives here. You got five, you got, this is considered the five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Financial material changes, right? There were some changes that took place here. Some major changes could be somebody got abandoned, somebody got left out in the cold, somebody um, lost a job. Um, there was loss. Fives represents major changes, right? So there are some changes that's coming into your life here, right? Wow. Foundation and achievement at the... I picked it up and I saw us. So I wanted to show you the rainbow is coming. The, the sun is coming, okay? That's the second that we really tap in and connect with spirit here with our crown chakra, right? Um, this is where we find our peace, our faith, our hope, the connection to God, connection to the universe, connection to source. So if if you're, you're feeling a lot of, um, this could be somebody in your energy as well, okay? So feel free to reverse the roles. I could be speaking directly to Cross Watcher here. Um, but again, considering that this is your reading, I'm going to direct the message to you. If you're feeling like a lot of grief right now, a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow, Spirit is saying to pray. Work on your crown chakra because you'll receive messages and downloads and, you're re and you'll receive relief. Call in your angels, right? This is your chakra of peace, of hope, of faith. Let's see what else spirit wants to tell us. So these are the main messages here. Let's see what else comes out. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Leo? What can you tell us about this heartache and loss, Spirit? Please clarify this heartache and loss for us. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oops. Get it together, Patty. What is going on here with this deck? 
it's a little miniature deck. So, spirit. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be about a marriage, right? Or a commitment that um, broke apart here. Um, but this is you also rebuilding, right? Working on rebuilding, working on your finances, working on building your your empire, your legacy, right? But to get to here, right, we need to work on healing first, right? So what can you tell... What can you tell me about this heartache and loss here for Leo? I'm sorry if you guys are going through this. If you guys lost someone, a family member, I'm sending you guys my condolences. Um, it's not easy to go through that. Heart chakra healing. Heart chakra healing is definitely needed. When we have swords in our heart, it's very hard for us to manifest, right? Because it's a blockage. So take your time. Take the time that you need to heal, okay? Spirit, clarify heartache and loss for Leo. Clarify. Wow, remember I saw this at the bottom of this deck here, and this wanted to show again. This energy right here of the four of pentacles, right? Foundation and achievements. So this, this has something to do with a connection, a home, your foundation. Perhaps there was a job that was lost or... A breakup in the home and the marriage, right? Um, but the heartache and loss is about your stability. The four of wands is represented by also twin flame energy, union, partnership, marriage, right? So I'm seeing here that um, this has something to do with your home, your your union, your partner, your stability. What else can you tell me about the four of, yeah, the emperor, father energy, the leader, right? Aries or Taurus, um, the divine masculine. So um, right away, I'm seeing that the heartache and loss has to do with um, perhaps it's it's this is the emperor that's feeling this energy and not you, right? And this emperor wants to come in and take control of the situation here and reestablish the stability here within your connection, right? Um, but he tends to be a husband, a father, a leader. He tends to run an empire, very successful person, but also someone that can be very temperamental, very prideful, um, ego, right? Um, tends to operate that way because he is the ruler, right? He is the emperor. So, and but a lot of times he can he can be controlling, domineering, can take that to the extreme. Um, yeah. I see here this emperor or you um, well another message I'm getting from spirit is that it's time for you to take back control of your life and build your stability right hop into the divine masculine energy the emperor energy and and rebuild and rebuild because nothing is wasted okay nothing is wasted and I can't ignore the fact that the crown chakra energy right is right underneath the lion spirit be generous of spirit connect with spirit for help okay um it's time to get out of your head i know that this is hard energy to 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 get out of but when you do connect with your crown chakra here and you clear your crown chakra it's really gonna help you with this energy right here being in the nine of swords you're feeling stuck this is an energy of somebody that's feeling like their hands are tied right um hopeless and helpless um anxiety fears thoughts about the past here with the emotional lost well i'm sorry not lost emotional loss um not seeing their way forward in between worlds going through depression dark night of the soul anxiety fears regrets uh, this is a 3 a.m card unable to sleep tossing and turning uh, being visited by the darkness and ghosts of the past here of like actions right that was done things that happened could be anger resentment bitterness a lot of heart chakra and crown chakra work that's needed here leos um spirit the emperor clarify the emperor the emperor for heartache and loss for leos
Okay. There is, um, what I'm getting here, the emperor. I'm getting a couple of messages. For some of you, this emperor doesn't want to end anything with you, okay? This emperor doesn't want to end this cycle that you guys have been going through. You doesn't, don't want to end it, but it's time to close out a cycle to start a new one here, right? So if you think that something is over, according to this emperor, it's not, okay? This emperor's trying to manifest their way back here, right? But it's happening really slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the magician is Virgo energy or Gemini. Uh, I say that because we have more earth here, right? And then we have the four fixed signs with the world. This is Saturn too. Um, again, back to this nothing is wasted. Vulture spirit, right? Upright. This is an energy of ending a cycle, closure of a cycle, putting an end to the old cycle to start a new cycle, right? In reverse, which that's how it came out, it's this cycle is not closed yet, okay? This cycle is not closed yet. And um, again, all is in loss, nothing is wasted. So if you want to rebuild here with this emperor, with the four, the four of wands, right? That's what you're manifesting. If this is not the emperor manifesting this, this is you manifesting this, right? Spirit is saying it's time to take back control of your life here. Um, get clear with the universe, with what you want. Because you're manifesting it. So, what I just heard is, if you don't want any more heartache and loss then maybe it's it's best to work on their heart chakra to get out of this energy so you don't manifest the more of that in and keep repeating the same cycles, right? Um, there is something that that you're that's taken a long time to come in with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady wins the race, right? But this is the only knight. Because he's very particular, very meticulous, very diligent, very stable, very grounded, very secure. Um, he's very cautious with, with, with his actions. So he moves really slowly. This is the only night that when he gets to where he want that his destination, right? He operates really slowly on purpose. Because he wants to make sure that it's correct, that it's right, it's forever. It's permanent, it's stable, it's secure. So whether this is you taking back control... And I'm seeing this being as a relationship because heartache and loss, emotional loss. It could be a job, right? Whatever it is that you're trying to work on to rebuild your stability, Spirit is saying take your time because to rebuild from the foundation, a strong foundation, it's, it's slow. It takes time, right? Um, you are manifesting it, okay? This is what clarified the emperor here. This emperor could be you, could be your person, right? Is working on making their way back slowly because they don't want this to be over it's not over according to this emperor that's what they're trying to manifest they're trying to manifest their way back slowly right they're coming in but they're coming in slowly but they're coming in to rebuild to rebuild a steady strong foundation here with the knight of pentacles okay somebody is very heartbroken could be this emperor could be you could be both you know your situation but um, this emperor is, is, the energy that I'm getting from this emperor is like he's in the process. He's, he's like behind the scene. He's take, behind the scenes. He's planning. He's plotting. He's thinking. He's overthinking. He's taking action. We saw the nine of swords. He's in his head about this. The magician doesn't come out unless it's a manifestation in process, in, in progress, right? All, he knows he has all the tools on the table here. And so do you to manifest Anything you want. The magician is the creator, the creation, right? Um, it has all the elements, the swords, the, the air, earth, water, and fire to create and build. The only thing is that this energy, you need to also, you need to co-create with spirit, meaning put in the work tangibly in the 3D for things to actually manifest. 
Right now, I feel like this em emperor is still planning and plotting, hasn't made any moves yet, but wants to, wants to, and it's moving very, very slowly. This is, or this could be something that you've been waiting for for quite some time that was very hurtful that happened in the past. Crown chakra for Leo. Yeah, this energy wanted to jump out again. Something happened. It was an ending. Something very painful happened. This is a cycle. Okay, it's a 10. We got the 9 and the 10. So this means that this cycle is done and over with. Everything that you learned from this that caused the awakening here is not going to happen again. When crown chakra appears, that means there's an awakening that took place, right? Now spirit is asking you, please, please connect. Connect with me. Go within. Clear your crown chakra so you can get free of this energy. So you can actually close out the cycle here with the world in reverse, right? So you can actually get all the answers that you need. So you can actually feel free of this anxiety. So you can feel peace, okay? Surrender this. Heal. Let this go. It's time to rise up now and get up and take back control of your life here and rebuild your stability, okay? I know that it's hard. Going through something like this is not easy. This is a very painful. It's very painful. Spirit is saying, again, nothing is wasted. Everything happened to awaken you to your true self, to your true potential here. Okay? Work on activating and clearing your crown chakra. That will help you to close out this cycle here. There's something you're still holding on to that you haven't surrendered to yet, right? This pain, this loss. Do the work, heal, crown chakra, heart chakra, because you have, you're manifesting. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a new beginning here that's happening for you, right? With the magician here, with the four of wands. It's a beautiful new beginning. Spirit wants to help you to manifest your dreams here. Manifest your dream life, your dream job, your dream relationship, right? But for this to happen, we need to work on you actually believing and having faith and working on really releasing the pain, the suffering, the past, closing out this cycle. I know it's easier said than done. You can't just tell somebody, oh, let it go, drop it, right? That's, that's not how that works. You have to do the work. You can't just let it go. It doesn't go away like that. It takes time to heal this. It's, this right here took time. This is a whole cycle. This may not have been from one person. This may, may have been from multiple different relationships, People, family, friends, betrayals, hardships, right? From like 10 years, 5 years, however long this cycle has been for you. It's time now for us to release it. For us to put an end to this cycle here, okay? Put an end to it so you can start a new beginning. Start a new beginning. Close it out because a new beginning is here for you. Get Ask for help. You ask for help by clearing your crown chakra. Wow, I wasn't expecting this reading from you guys today. Look, and once you do that, you will be standing in your power, in your confidence, independent, happy and single, abundant, right? Creating your own beautiful life, manifesting your dream life. A second you connect with spirit here, right? The law of attraction, your manifestations will kick in and you will feel happy, free, beautiful, glowing, self-love on your two feet, right? Yeah. When you do that, you'll, you'll attract in everything you've been wanting. A new beginning with a solid partner here, somebody that is a provider, a protector, somebody you can rely on, somebody stable, somebody mature, right? And that's a gift from God, from the universe that you're manifesting with the magician card, okay? But this can come to fruition, right? Getting back on your feet, stability, receiving, being open to receive until we clear the swords out of our heart, until we close out this cycle here, get out of our heads. This is a create, we, we are creating this with our thoughts, taking back control of our thoughts, practicing mindfulness and stillness here by meditating, crown chakra, asking spirit for help, having real faith, real hope, letting this go, right? Getting back up, rising from the ashes because nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. 
this happened to get you here, right? To get you here, to your independence, to your self-love, release your attachments and codependencies to things and people from the past that no longer serves us, that only puts swords in our heart and in our backs here so we can manifest a real partner, right? If you're male, so you can so you can get your stability back, right? Manifest a beautiful, a new career, financial security, financial stability. This could be a new house, a new car, a new job, a new career, an engagement, marriage, real strong, stable, solid, career if you're female watching this right so somebody that you can actually depend on rely on can come in and offer you the commitment and the love that you deserve you deserve true love you deserve somebody that won't put swords in your heart okay but the second that we begin to feel like we deserve it our self-worth our confidence our self-love that's when boom it comes in this can't come in until we're in this position here. Until we're standing tall in our power, in our authenticity, authenticity, in our truth, in our self-love, glowing and happy, feeling free, freedom. Crown chakra is the chakra of true freedom, enlightenment, right? Awakening, connection to spirit, peace. This is the energy. See, she's wearing purple. And that's purple, right? See all this purple? That's crown chakra. Trusting in God, source, the universe, having faith and knowing, practicing this is the energy of law of attraction. Practicing the law of attraction and knowing that everything that we're creating is already ours and it's coming to us, right? This right here is on its way. It's here for you. It's already yours. The second that we heal, truly take the time Take your time. This is slow energy. Take your time to truly heal, right? To step into your true authentic self. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit so that people can come in and serve you. Be open. Be open so you can be open to receiving. When you have swords in your heart, your heart's not open to receiving. You're not open to trusting someone to that will that they will be loyal, that they will be genuine, that they will provide, protect, be stable, be reliable. When we're not in this energy here and we're in heartbreak and loss, right? Then we we react, we get defensive, right? We tend to push people away, we tend to get attached, codependent. And not trusting. And then the cycle just keeps on repeating of old patterns of attracting more of this heartache and loss, right? For some of you, this could be you that are, you are already in this energy. And this is your person, right? Receiving their karma for the pain and suffering that they did to you, right? And, um, and now they're going through their awakening they're going through their growth process they're going they're learning and they're getting ready to come in and offer you if this is somebody from your past to offer you a commitment that's for some of you right um this could be somebody you you could be already in this energy and then your person could be in this energy of heartache and loss and guilt and regret and shame sometimes when we put up with a lot of things if we're in the shame energy of regret right we when we awaken we realize you know the things that we put up with in the past and it can really put us in this energy of i can't believe i did that to myself i can't believe i put up with it i can't believe i talk I can't believe i didn't see this in the past i can't believe i let this happen for this long i can't believe i stayed this long right things like that that we start to to really see with our crown chakra here being open and they can really put us in this energy here of grief shame regret guilt Right, you know how this is this how the story pertains to you. But um I see stability here. I see you man I see someone, could be you or your person, manifesting a new beginning, right? And this is here for you. The second we get here, right? All right. Let's find out from romance angels here. But we gotta get out of the illusions here. We gotta get out of the illusions here so we can truly awaken and hear the call and so that change can manifest for us the wheel of fortune can come in so we can move forward triumphantly here right balanced out our energy 
success, victories here, changes here, destined change, this, this, a second chance. You're getting a second chance, right? It's time to rise up and awaken. You're going to have a lot of options to choose from the second that you step into your power here, right? The second you step into your power. Dream big, Spirit is saying. Dream big. You have a, you're have you going to have a lot of doors that's going to open up for you because you are stepping into your power here, your new beginning. you got judgment. That's the energy of awakening, a second chance. Um, hearing the call from Spirit to actually step into mission here with a be generous of Spirit, right? So also release illusions. Tap into your intuition, ground chakra, third eye chakra, right? So you can see clearly we're way ahead. Um, this is emotional overwhelm, could be emotional confusion, but this could also be dreaming big, right? It's time to dream big. Visualize what we really want, not what we don't want, okay? Because there's a new beginning that's promised here. This is Jupiter energy, Scorpio energy, Cancer energy, major arcanas. This is the universe. Major life changes, life force changes here this is second chance resurrection somebody coming back from the past perhaps but coming back changed in the divine masculine energy right in the king of pentacles energy i don't see pages i don't i see this one night because this is still like in the process of happening here right of, of planning of working things out of building here so um but i'm seeing nothing but power here the emperor the king of pentacles um the magician extremely powerful energies here we got the wheel of fortune four fixed signs again right um leo leo uh taurus scorpio and aquarius could be dealing with any one of those signs um we got that twice so you got support from the universe from god's source you just gotta ask, right, for a little bit of help here to get you out of this um, mental. This is a lot of go going over and over and over again in your head. All the things that happened here, okay. Um, you and then the second that you do that, that you say yes to this change and you step into it and you rise from the ashes, which I see you're doing, right? Um, you're gonna move forward triumphantly into your new beginning, okay? Um, balanced out. The yin and the yang, the light and the dark, okay? Accepting everything that happened and why it happened, right? Um, well, you have a brand new, a second chance, a new beginning. This is an awakening also. Hearing the call, you got support from spirit and the angels. You just got to ask, okay? But you have a brand new, beautiful beginning here ahead for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Just going through some tough energy right now. As you go through this awakening, probably going through a dark night of the soul as you release and purge. Um, but I'm feeling that these changes are, are, are these major changes here, that things are going to start moving forward for you come June, July, okay? Around your season, right? Your birthday time. So it's time to close out these cycles, okay, my loves? All right, let's get our romance angels for Leo spirit. One message, not so many, Spirit, so just a couple. Mm -hmm. Message for Leo. Yes. Yes. Message for Leo here. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about this. We did. Anything else, Spirit? All right, you guys. Yeah. This right here is an energy uh, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So practicing the art of 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 the law of attraction here is when you're in the self-love energy, right? When you're not, when you're living your best life, when you're single, when you're happy, healed, working on your energy, working on your healing. That's when we manifest everything that we want. Um, you know, playing with spirit here, right? Smelling the roses, not focusing on, on the things that we don't want, knowing that what we want is already ours. It's already coming to us. That's this energy, right? Also, this energy again is the energy of love yourself first, right? We love ourselves first when we allow these toxic cycles here from this pain and suffering of People, places, and things that are no longer serving us. We let it die. We let it go, right? 
and 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 we choose to love ourselves here okay we choose to love ourselves we choose love we choose happiness we choose peace crown chakra your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay love yourself first that's what's going to attract all this beautiful energy in that we talked about here with the ace of pentacles the king of pentacles heal do the work you can't just jump from this energy to this energy. It's going to take work, meditation, prayer, nurturing yourself, spending time with yourself, spending time with beautiful energy people, right? That, that are high vibrational, staying away from the gossip, staying away from the drama, really setting healthy boundaries, right? Healthy boundaries. That's self-love. Pay attention to the red flags. Yes. Um, the signs of cautioning. Spirit is trying to communicate here with you with the crown chakra that I mentioned. It's time, right, that we that we start to to pay attention to to what we're creating. Spirit is is trying to tell you you're in extreme creation mode here, right? So our thoughts is the red flag. Our our negative negative hard thoughts that we keep going back about here, right? Over and over and over again. That's a red flag. Pay attention to what you're creating, to your thoughts. You're getting you're getting messages from the the signs are 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 everywhere. Okay. Whether whether you need to let go of this person, you haven't let go of this person yet, you haven't let go of this connection or whatever it is that's hurting you so badly. Spirit is trying to tell you, please pay attention, pay attention to the red flags. It it's hurting you. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to the way that you feel. Pay attention to things that you're thinking that comes to you randomly. Gut, solar plexus, right? Crown, third eye. Clear those so you can receive these messages because you're getting guidance. But you're struggling to receive them when you're in this energy, okay, my loves? And of course. Stay optimistic, right? That's part of the law of attraction here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? This is what you're wanting. Believe it. Live it. Have faith. Crown chakra, again, have faith, okay? Have faith. True faith, okay? And finish going through the process of your healing, because that's the only way you can really, truly, and authentically step into this energy. All right, let's get a fairy here. Spirit, guidance and advice for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moderation and manifestation at the bottom of the deck. Okay, moderation. Sometimes, right? When we go through stuff like this, we tend to, to, to try to feel better, some people, right? By doing, eating too much, watching too much Netflix, watching too many YouTube videos, uh, drinking too much, smoking too much. Some, just to, I wouldn't say uh, run away from these feelings or... Uh, numb or uh, yeah for some it could be numb I'm hearing numbing I'm hearing escapism I'm hearing avoidance um, to not feel right but we need to feel it to heal it to truly step into this energy we need to feel everything here so that we can we need to cry it out we need to go through the process okay so moderation is there something you know you shouldn't be eating or drinking, or smoking, or watching, something too much of, right? Try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Then we have manifestation. You're manifesting right now, okay? Strongly, that's why it's very important that we watch our vibration and our thoughts, okay? It's very important because you have a very strong, that's what clarified crown chakra. You have a very strong connection to spirit right now. So basically, we, well, what we're feeling, what we're thinking, well, that's what, we're, what we are vibrating out. And that's what we're going to attract more of in, okay? 
manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. Okay, be very clear with spirit right now because you're you're strong. You're manifesting really strongly right now. Okay, um, so if this resonated with you guys, I'm going to leave this here. If this resonated with you guys, please, um, you want to get a more personalized reading, right? We can go through everything in more detail. Uh, this, the information to, to book, uh, to schedule a personal reading with me is in the description box below or on my Instagram. Um, good luck to you guys. Um, I'll be praying for you guys. I love you all so much. I can see you guys are going to conquer here, right? Step into your your strength, your Leo energy and roar, right? This is what I see happening here for you guys, okay? We just got to go through the process first, right? I love you guys. Take care. Namaste. Mwah.